you're the Olympic champion. What are your overarching emotions right now? Well, as you can see, I'm composed. <laughs> <laughs> Happy, of course. Elated. Ah, it's been a long time coming. It's been a lot of hard work. It's been a, you know, keeping the, the focus, keeping the tunnel vision, and putting the, 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 the right race together. And I did just that. You got the start, a decent one, the best one I've seen from you ever. Uh, trust me, trust me, I did a lot of tweaking. I don't know if you guys noticed, but every run was a different start. Because after the first one, and I saw that Grant was almost at two, and I was just getting at one, I realized that if I'm going to be this guy, I have to change something, I have to tweak something, I need to set up myself a little bit better so I can get closer to him towards the end. Um... The changes worked, I think. The semifinals, I saw myself gaining, and I realized that, all right, all right, let, let me go back to the drawing board now and make a few more tweaks. And I, I spoke with even some of the sprinters, like uh, Taekwondo and, and Julian, about getting out a little bit faster, because, of course, they are sprinters and they have very good starts. So, got some good advice, and I applied those to to the tweaking and I, I think it worked because I had a decent start. Was the tweak, and did it have anything to do with your steps or was it just the, the, the start was, pattern? It was mostly about the the foot placement and the, the, the position in the blocks. Now, I guess that explains the smile you had when you crossed the line in the semifinals. Definitely. Yes. Because I, I, I saw where I needed to improve on and I realized that I can catch it. And so, I don't think there's an athlete here in Tokyo with less preparation than you going into a final. What does this tell you about your mental fortitude? I wouldn't say less preparation. I was still doing a lot of preparation. It's just that I didn't get to do all the running that I wanted. But I did still a lot of gym work. I still did, I did a lot of swimming. Um, did a lot of strength work with, with my therapy schedule. And I was able to put together a perfect race. Having been at this level before, Hansel, how much did it prepare you for this ultimate um, challenge for you? Well, I feel it's, it helps with uh, keeping level-headed, keeping my composure, because it's all, it's all about who is more focused, who wants it more, who um, keep the, you know, the technique together. And I think the experience over the years helped with that a lot. All right, I, I pray you'll, you'll oblige us, but you must ask. Um, given all the issues surrounding the, the selection of this team, would you say that this proves that the selection committee got it right? I would say that. <laughs> I didn't really know it. Um, of course, I didn't know what would have happened, but I was you know, relaxed about the whole situation. Uh, I would have loved to have all the best hurdlers here. Um, would have loved to maybe get a one, two, three, whatever it is, but we can do it another time. You know, it was also a good experience for Damien. I think he did pretty well. Uh, he has, he's a young and have a lot more years in front of him, and I expect to see a lot more from him. And I, I also hope in some other events as well. So I'm looking forward for us to have a bigger team competing in other events like the long jump, high jump, juggling. You know, we haven't seen anybody in that so far, so let's hope we have some more talents coming up.